Hey guys, it's Debbie with Driftwood and Shine. Okay, we're coming on this morning. We're going to use a Dollar Tree canvas, a Dollar Tree stencil, Dollar Tree eyeshadow, lightweight spackle, Dollar Tree canvas, um, can you think what you call these things? Some Q-tips and a bunch of paint. The paints that we're using are Cloudless, App Apple Barrel Cloud Cloudless, Delta Dream Coat, Tropic Bay Blue, Apple Barrel Caribbean, Apple Barrel Bimini Blue, Apple Barrel Turquoise. Apple Barrel Tuscan Teal. And we're going to use Waverly Chalk Paint White. We've got Folk Art Maple Syrup. Delta Creamicoat. Delta Ceramicoat, I'm sorry. Ceramicoat Light Chocolate. Folk Art Linen. Okay. What we're going to start, I'm going to bend you down so you can watch. I'm not going to be able to see I'm not going to be able to see your uh, comments because I'm going to have you bent down so you can see the... Hey, Teresa. Hey, Benice. So y'all can see the canvas and see what I'm doing, okay? Okay, we're going to open our lightweight spackle. Lightweight spackle dries way quicker than normal spack spackle. That's why we're using it. This picture, this canvas, is going to be half beach and then half sand because we're going to have the, the um, stencil we're using are shells. All different kind of shells. So they're pretty big. I would like some smaller ones, but that's okay. We're gonna make do. We're just gonna make our beach be bigger so that they don't look oversized. But we've got bunches of beach shells. We'll start with, and I'm just gonna place them where I think I want them when my beach gets made. And we want them done before we get started painting, and then I'll get them dry. All you do is lay it down. I'm gonna lay this one this way, and then you take your spat your your spatula. That's what it is, a spatula. And then you go in a 45 degree angle. Just hold your hold it still. Go at a 45 degree angle, and you want to try to fill in all the relief part. Doesn't have to be perfect. See? I'm going to wipe that away just so that it doesn't mess up my next one. Mess up my canvas. I'm just going to wipe some of that away. one. Well, that one's pretty. Let's do this one. I'm going to do it. And I'm laying it right here at my other one. I'm going to take this top thing off because it just gets in my way. Y'all can leave y'all's on if you want it. It gets in my way. I'm going to lay this one right here and I'm going to try to hold this up so it doesn't mess up the one I've already got on there. I'm literally just going to go at a 45 degree angle again. Hard to get in there where my fingers are at. But. OK. 
Okay, there we go. Wipe this away. I'm going to tell y'all, baby wipes are a crafter's best friend. I love them. And we're about out because everybody has, I don't know about a child's house, but when we have something, everybody comes and gets it. Let's see. Let's do one of these. Where do I want? I think I want it down here. And it's okay if you mess up the ones beside it just a little bit. It's okay. You know, shells get broken when they're laying on the beach. So we're not going to let that panic us. Dogs are wanting in, but it's not going to hurt them to stay out for a little while. Let's see. I really like this one, too, so let's lay it. Let's lay it down here by itself. I have learned something with these bigger stencils. You know, I like to share with y'all what I learn as I'm going. It would be better if you had a bigger spatula that could kind of cover a little more area. So that might be what I try to do next time. Oh, that's a good one. I like that one. I might have to use it again. Let's go ahead and do it right down here. Well, I already got speckle on it. Let's just go ahead and use it again because I like it. And spackle, guys, this whole, this little thing of spackle only costs like um, $7.98 and so you're not using huh, 10 cents worth of it because all I'm using, I've just used what's on the top top of it, literally. So I'm not not used much of it. So I want one more. I, I really like this shell. We're going to do it upside down. Right here. I thought about cutting these things apart, but then you'd have to be really, really careful on the edges, but I still might want to, might want to try it with it cut apart. I might give it a shot. Awesome. Okay, let me, I'm going to get my, most of the spackle off, guys, because it will dry hard, and I don't want it to mess my stencil up for the next time. This is going to be awesome. You ever get excited about trying something because it's something you've never done before? You want to try it and you want to see how it does? I mean, I've done the spackle before, but I'm not. I want to, the, the process that we're going to do on top of these shells with the um, eyeshadow, I think it's going to be gorgeous. But we're fixing to see once I 
get most of this off. Okay, that's good enough. Now I'm going to take the hair dryer and dry these guys. Well, let me cover. Let me put my spackle up because I don't want to dry all my spackle. I'm going to take the hair dryer. It's going to be a little loud. Okay, they're not completely dry, but we're going to go ahead and paint our beach side, so I'm going to turn this down. So hopefully, let's see, yeah, I'm going to start up here so y'all see the process from your side. <laughs> and I hope I can do it upside down, we're going to see. <laughs> but I've got my water and my paintbrushes in water because I like to start with my paintbrushes damp because that way, just when you take it out of the water, just push most of the water off like that. But you want to start with a damp brush because then that allows your paint to, to smooth better. And we're starting up at the topper, topper. We're starting up at the top part of the water, so I'm going to go into my darker paints first. I'll get me a little bit of Tuscan teal and a little bit of um, keep these colors up here, turquoise. So I know what I'm using. Tuscan teal and turquoise, and I'm going to swip in just a tinky bit, tinky bit of white in there, and then we're just going to start painting, blending and painting. See how it blends with the, with the, having the, um, your paintbrush a little wet, it just blends, it doesn't, then, now I'm going to go on into my other, next color is Bimini Blue. So it's kind of got a mixture of all of it. Just keep blending. Keep blending. Then we're going to go into the next color, which is Caribbean. Caribbean, whichever you want to call it. I'm still getting... I don't know if I had that on, but I'm still getting all my other colors, but I'm taking in some of the lighter colors. These apple barrel paints only cost 50 cents a piece, so we're not spending a whole lot of money yet. We've got a dollar in our canvas. Maybe, I'm going to say 10 cents worth of spackle, maybe. Okay, we're fixing to go a lot lighter now. We're, not keep, we're getting out of our darks. Start shaping my water. That had some lumps in it, but that's okay. Okay, I want my water to, you know, water's never, a beach is never even, so I'm going to shape it. How, oops, I got a little bit of brown in there. I didn't want brown. Ignore the brown, I'll cover that up. I went a little too far over. I'm just getting my lighter colors. Get that brown covered up because we don't want that brown. Of course, the brown would look sort of like we're going into the sand. So, it's not a fail. Then we're going to take our colors. Now we're going to bring a little bit of the dark down in here into the bottom. Just a little bit. You don't want a lot. Now we're 
going to take a little bit of our light up into the dark, just a little. Those darker colors, when you bring them down, or the lighter colors when you take them up, they just um, give the look of depth into your water. Now I'm just using my two lighter colors. Because I want, you know, when the beach gets reaches the, the sand, it's pretty light. So we want it to be light. Now we're going to take a little bit of the white and mix in with the two lighter colors. And just shape it how you want it, guys. Now I'm going to go with just a lot more white. Because you know the white comes down and forms a kind of foamy look when you get close to the, the sand. Put a little bit of white up in other areas so it almost makes it look like, you know, little crashing waves. Okay. Now I'm going to go in with just the end of my brush. I'm fixing the, right here on the side, I know you can't see it, but I'm fixing to wipe off most of the paint that's on my brush on my piece of paper here and I'm going to go in with just the tip of my the end of my brush into where I had the colors mixed I'm not going into the deep colors now I'm just going into where I had the colors mixed and we're going to make a few like just and then we'll blend it don't don't we just want some of the you know the darker colors to come down in here and we're just going to go back and blend it a little bit just to give your water some movement you don't want it all the same color water has to have movement to look like water okay now I'm going to go in and just tap on my where my white's at just to make it have more of a foamy look and not a not a flat look give me a little bit more Okay, and then after we do the sand, we'll go back and do a little bit more of that, okay? Now we're fixing to... Okay, these are dry enough to paint over, I think. Now I'm going to do the sand, but I'm, since I'm doing sand and I've got this spackle down here now, I'm going to try to get most of the water off my brush. I wanted it on there because I want, I want it to go smoother, but I don't want that water to make my spackle get soft again okay so I got most of my water off now we're gonna go in my linen is is not real good paint it's about dried up but it's all I got right now so I got to use it I'm just doing mostly linen with a little bit of the um, light chocolate then when it's gonna go in we're painting directly over our our um, shells, everything. We're painting the whole thing. Just go in close to where your water's at. We're going, like I said, we're going to blend it later so it's not, not a big deal. Make sure you get that. Oops. That wasn't quite dry right there. 
that was a little thicker, but that's okay. We're gonna we're gonna work with it anyway. I'll just be real careful right there. If I wasn't doing a live, see, I could when y'all doing one at home, y'all can wait and let it completely dry. Don't have to worry about anything. A little bit of this white, and with my tan, I'll try to be a little more careful around my seashells if they're not quite dry. I just want the brown down between them. That's what, I mean, you really can not even go over your seashell and just go in your, your crack part <laughs> of the seashell. Need a little bit more water though. It's not smooth, it's not going easy. A little more white. Got my blue down in there I didn't like, but that's okay. Just got to get this sand painted without messing up our seashell. <laughs> like I said, when y'all do it at home, let it dry, guys. Let it dry good. It takes a good 15 to 20, 25 minutes to dry good. We didn't have that long to wait this morning, so... going as close to the shore as I can, I mean close to the water as I can, get that all painted, and then go between your seashell, seashell, that's a hard word to say, and he's a little messed up, but that's okay, that's okay, shells are never perfect much when you find them on the beach. Okay, we're just going to go in between. When I get through with this, I'm going to use the hair dryer again to dry some into the... Dry the sand anyway, so... Um, and make sure the paint that is on the sea shells <laughs> are dry, so that we can do our process of the eyeshadow. And we're using Dollar Tree eyeshadow this morning. And if you don't have Dollar Tree eyeshadow, guys, any eyeshadow works. The loose eyeshadow is your best option, but if you don't have that, any of it works. Okay, I'm going to have to see if I can get a little more linen out of this crazy bottle. I need a little bit more. I have to remember to buy me some more. I'm going to get me a little bit of water, some more of my white, and then this linen. Try to finish up down here. Can y'all see all this? And let me tell you, when you're painting um, anything really, but especially water, when you're stand, sitting over it and you're looking at it like I am right now, it looks like, oh my gosh, there ain't no way. But get back and look at it from, from afar, and it looks totally different, guys, totally different. Okay, we're almost through with this brown. Then we'll get it dry good. And then the magic will happen. Okay, I'm just getting in between all my seashell parts. Gosh, why is that work so hard for me? Okay. 
think I about got it good enough anyway. Okay, now what, I didn't tell you what was doing with the brown, but get a little bit of the brown and the white, the dark, dark, dark brown. You want the dark brown. You want most of it off. And then you're just gonna, we're gonna do some shading in here in our sand. You know, sand, that's another thing that's never the same. You can go in and get a little bit of the linen to go over it. There you go, like that. But you want that brown to come through ever so often because yeah, sand has some dark spots. And we also want our sand to have movement. We don't want it to be flat. Sometimes the, and I'm not a professional painter, guys. I just do this as a hobby. I'm just telling you the things that I've seen and learned through doing. Okay, now we're going to go back in and just blend out our middle real quick. Get most of your water off. Um, let's just get some of the light and some of the white, and even a little bit of the brown, it doesn't matter, the tan. Most of that off even after I put it on there. Then we're gonna go back in and use the side of your brush and we're just gonna kinda go over the sand, just the edges of the sand. Then we're going to go back and dab our white again. Okay. Good enough. That's it for the paint. Now we're fixing to use our hair dryer and dry the brown that's on the shells enough that we can start using our Oh no, Rebecca. Yes, ma'am, we will, for sure. Hey, I don't wear makeup either, uh, Donna. I bought mine just for this. <laughs> I'm going to start wearing makeup, though. Okay, this is going to be good enough. Um, I'm going to have to turn it around where I can see it, guys, this time, though. And what we're going to do is take your, your stencil. Let's start with this. No, we'll let her dry a little bit more since she's wanting to be a pain. Um, let's go up here to our very first one. Lay your stencil down back over it. Try to get it in, you know, about the same spot. This is just so that you can color the parts that need coloring without messing with your other parts. Okay. We're going to open up all our... All of our um, stuff up here. I've got purple. I've got a... Let's see. Hmm. Well, that doesn't say the color. It's like a goldish, though. We've got purple and pink. 
like, well, no, because here's gold. I guess you'd call that bronze, because then I've got gold. And then this is the color we're going to use the most. This is uh, white. And we're going to color each. Each one of our things will be this color. So let me see where's the best way to put it. Right there. I'm going to poke my Q-tip down in my eyeshadow. And then where I've got this covered, see I can go right over it. We're just going to make them shimmer. That's why you want to lay your, um, and I've about used all this with my, I'm going to put me some out like this, cheating. Because I about used all this cream. <laughs> when I do my tumblers, I, use, I put this in my epoxy. And then it makes the whole cup shimmer when I put the epoxy over it. That's awesome. Now, I think I'm going to highlight her. Let me just use that white one. Let's see. Let's highlight her with a little bit of pink. this is not the way it's made it's got just a tiny tiny thing you know what I might could use the brush that come in it but I don't think so I think the brush is not going yeah it's going to brush it off instead of and that's not what I want the q-tip actually kind of brushes the color on the brush doesn't let's see let's make her a little bit of pink around on this side And then a little bit of pink shading up here. Not a lot, just a little. And this, guys, you can do any way you want. You know, shells are just, they're all so different. And I'm going to put just a tiny bit of purple on her. Oh, I reckon I might have to pour them all out. The way they're made, they just have a little bitty dip in them. I'm going to put a tiny bit of purple right here. Okay. Oh, that's awesome. Now let me go ahead and do the other one that's shaped just like her. No, I don't have another one like her. Let's do this guy. That's that one. Just play around with it till you get your get all your pieces back where they go. Okay, now I'll do my white. Just gonna do a little white shimmer on them instead of covering it, covering it. Then we're gonna do her with some gold. Let's make her gold. The white one down, the pink one, my gold.
And you have to kind of press it down so that then when you blow on it to blow your excess off, you're not going to blow the color off. You press it down with your, with your uh, Q-tip. Oh, I like that one. I don't know if y'all can see them. Yeah, you can see that gold. There's the top one. Okay. This fancy lady. Get her. Okay. Do her some pink. I may not even put any the other color on her. But like I said, when you do it at home, guys, just be take your time and make sure that um take your time, make sure all the things are covered. Use a bigger spatula, and they sell those at Dollar Tree. They come in a package. And just do one sea, sea shell at a time and let it dry. So I was going to show you which one I would have used or should have used. Oh well, I thought I had it over there, my bigger spatula. Awesome. Okay, let's do this one. It's hard to, you know what? I may have had it upside down. It may have been why it's so hard to get in there. I'm going to do this guy in purple. But if you have different color eyeshadows, you could even make it prettier. I mean, make it look abalone. If you have some blues, blues and pinks with the the um the the uh, white color would be a beautiful like abalone looking. And you can paint them if you don't have eyeshadow, guys. You can use paint and paint them any color you want. Just make sure to use your stencil to keep from painting all your sand around it and just paint your seashell. Awesome. Oh, look at him. Awesome. Okay, we did him purple there. We'll do him... Um, Maybe pink and white again. We're almost through. One more shell after this one to cover. And then we'll be through and y'all can see the beautiful beach with the beautiful shells. And I just did this, guys. You can use these stencils. They have a ton of stencils. Use those stencils. Think outside the box. When you're going to do a sign, put a stencil on it first. Make it have a... Like if your sign's going to be something about... Um, I can't think. Having a... Rosy day. Or, you know, sunshiny day. Use one that has the sunshine. If you're going on a trip and, and you have... Um, Teresa or somebody, I cannot remember, shared the thing the other day. It may have been Vicky. I think it was Vicky. That um, something about the roads leading to beautiful destinations. Have you some um, a big suitcase <coughs> that you put on it? I mean, just 
think outside the box. This one's funky because he didn't dry good, but that's okay because we rushed him. We're not mad at him for not drying. Uh -uh. So we did the last one pink, so we're going to do this one purple because I really like the purples. Uh, well, you know what? We ain't used any bronze. We're going to have to use some bronze. We may use bronze with purple. Oh, I might be out of bronze. I, you know what? I know my bronze come out and I've got it saved in a jar here. For some reason it come all out so I just saved it in a little jar. Probably I turned it over one day or something. So we're going to do him bronze and then we'll do him some highlights of purple. And this is, um, again, these colors did cost a dollar a piece, but I'm not hardly using any of them. So say even if you had two dollars in that, a dollar in your canvas, and then ten cent in this, two dollars and ten cent, or three dollars and ten cent. I mean, goodness for a beautiful painting you can frame and hang on your wall. These, I believe, are 9 by 12, and you can get a frame in a 9 by 12. So get you a frame, hang it, and it's artwork that you've done yourself. And the water is just basically blending. That's what you just have to blend. Okay, guys, we are done with her. There's our beach, goes into our sand, and there's all our shells. Look at them. Isn't that cool? And you've done that all by yourself. That's it. Make sure y'all sprinkle the shine. And we'll enter your name into the giveaway. We'll be doing, this is the beginning of a new week. So, um, see, Sunny will be off Monday. The drawing will be Monday. The giveaway will be Monday. So make sure you sprinkle the shine. Let us know down below in the comments that you sprinkled so that we can get your name added, okay? And this is how I would display it like this. See the, the shells. Look at them things. Isn't that gorgeous? And you can do that with anything. I mean, think if you've got a, um, say a, a suitcase. I think they have a suitcase. But if you've got a suitcase and you, you do your lightweight spackle on it, let it dry real well, think how worn you can make that suitcase look with just different colors of brown. Wow. And then you could even, if you're really good, you could even paint you a sign on it um, for like, you know how they do those signs for places they travel? Paint you a sign on it for somewhere you travel. The options are endless. Y'all do some. Share it with us. We'd love, 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 love to see them. Um... If you need if you have any questions or need anything but um, it's Dollar Tree canvas Dollar Tree stencil you can get q-tips at Dollar Tree your spatulas come from Dollar Tree I got this brush this brand new brush came from Dollar Tree and it's one of the good kind I love these kind I buy them at Walmart but I found one at Dollar Tree so I got it so. But you can do all this mostly from Dollar Tree. All the eyeshadows came from Dollar Tree. So, y'all do it. Share it. Let's see it. Oh, I said that word. Sprinkle it. Anyway, y'all know. So, I'll see you later. Um, we do have some more crafts coming up today, or at least one more craft coming up today. I'm going to try to do two if I, you know, once Mom gets up, if, if I can. But uh, we do have more coming, so. I don't know 
know how thick a cardboard I would use, but yeah. You know what you could use, though? Um, Tony, is cardstock. Cardstock would be perfect. These, this stuff is, I mean, it, it's literally thin, thin. The cardstock would give you enough of a relief and still be able to do it. So, yeah, I would think cardstock would be good. Good. Yeah. Cardstock would be good. Or thin cardboard. Or, you know, sometimes when you get that um, cardboard that's between, like, when things are folded and they have that one piece of cardboard in them, stuff like that, I mean, that would be perfect to make your own stencils. And then you can do any stencil you want. How awesome would that be? All you'd have to do is get you a piece of um, magazine, something that had a picture of what you wanted, and um, cover the back side with some dark colored chalk. Turn it up, use your pencil, and draw just the design that you want, and then you've got your design on your thing. Cut it out with your exacto knife, and you're done. That's an awesome idea, Tony. Awesome. All right, guys. Love you, and I will see you later for another craft. No telling what. Okay. Love you. Bye.